All right guys, so today I've got a new video idea here. I'm going to try and make uh, some food. Um, I don't really know what it is. It's gonna be kind of like a breakfast casserole. Um, I'm planning on taking some uh, pork and cutting it down into small pieces and I'll probably cook that in a skillet. Um, and I'm also gonna cut up some potatoes and cook them in the oven, bake them basically, brown them in the oven. Um, they're gonna be small pieces, kind of like breakfast, like hash brown kind of stuff. Um, and then I'm gonna put some eggs in with it and mix the meat into those potatoes and then put it back in the oven for a few more minutes to let it all kind of cook together, I guess. So we'll see how this goes. All right guys, so as you can see, I have five potatoes here. Um, that time lapse was of me peeling them. I know you couldn't really see that, but um, I'm gonna start with five potatoes and cut them up and see how much um, it fills up this pan. I don't really need a whole lot because it's just me that's gonna eat it. So um, this will probably feed me for a couple days. That's what I usually do on the weekends is make a big meal that I can eat throughout the week. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, uh, this is all five of those potatoes. It's about, um, I'd say probably half the pan is filled, uh, maybe a little under half, um, but this should be plenty for what I'm gonna do. Um, the oven is still preheating. I have it set to whatever this is. I think that's supposed to be 375. Um, it's not in the middle, but it's not, you know, it's not labeled, so all these other ones are split. I think it might've just been a misprint on the knob. These are old stoves on a college campus. I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna let this oven heat up and while I'm doing that, I'm going to set the pork out of the freezer. Um, and also I'm going to put oil on these before I put them in the oven uh, because that's what I've always done when I cook potatoes in the oven. So I'm gonna put oil on them, toss them around and then throw them in the oven. And they're probably gonna take about half hour to 40 minutes. So that'll give plenty of time for the, uh, the meat to be thawed enough for me to peel a piece off of it and cut it up probably take two um, and then I will cook those in a skillet the small pieces of the meat in the skillet and then at the end I will crack some eggs into a bowl whisk them up and then dump them in here and mix them in with the potatoes and then throw it all in and put it back in the oven for a few minutes for the eggs to, uh, to, to bake so that's the plan I'll catch you guys in, uh, in a little bit when I put this in the oven all right guys, uh, the oven is at temperature. You can see this is on the middle rack. I don't know why the flashlight is on, but as you can see, it is on the middle rack in the oven and I just have to wait now for about 40 minutes. I have the, uh, the meat up here in the sink. Still don't know why the flashlight's on, but the meat is in the sink, it is upside down. These are pork chops and I'm going to chop them down into smaller pork chops. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna close this up, check the time, 45 minutes from now. Those should be done, and that should be cooking in a skillet right here. So, catch you guys in a little while. Alright guys, slight change of plans. Uh, the potatoes cooked way faster than I thought. They cooked in about 25-ish minutes, and I, I'm pretty sure it's because I cooked them, or I cut them so thin. Uh, but here they are, they are cooked. I will put them back in the oven in just a minute. I have it set on 200 uh, for when I put the eggs in there. But, it's going to sit out for now, because now I have to cut up these here pork chops and if you are wondering this is my hand and next to them so this one here is about the size of my hand this one's about a little over the size of my palm um, so that's going to be a lot of meat for this but I like meat and meat is very filling as is potatoes and eggs so uh, this is a very protein heavy meal for those of you who like protein and starch carbs carbs lots of carbs Lots of protein and the eggs are in the fridge still. So I'm gonna set up a time lapse of cutting these up and throwing them in the skillet here. Um, 
because I think time lapses are cool so you can see every single part, even if you don't actually like get to see it because it's going 20 times faster than real life. So I'm gonna do that. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, welcome back. I know I haven't been smiling much. I kind of just woke up like an hour and a half ago. Um, it is Saturday. It's kind of like my, my day off other than Sunday, which is also my day off. I was actually in the process of doing homework while making uh, my food here, but as you just saw in the time lapse, I got all the meat cut up, and this is all the meat it actually was. Um, these are pretty big chunks. Like, some of these are like finger-sized chunks. Um, and they're thicker, so I've got the, the stove set on, what, three? Yeah, it's set on three, which is a low heat, um, and I'll just cook these for a while. I did put the potatoes back in, but I covered them in foil so that the moisture would not come out of them completely. Um, and right now, I'm just going to let this cook, and I'm going to go finish up doing some homework, and then I'll come back, and then we'll put it all in the pan with the eggs, um, and then it'll be done. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. Um, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe because I don't really care, but hope you guys have enjoyed the video, and I hope you come back for another one. Uh, because I enjoy making them. This is kind of fun. And this is beneficial and fun because it's food, I'm doing homework, and making a YouTube video. Who the funk? Huh. Alright guys, slight change of plans here. I think I'm going to cook the eggs. This is five eggs, by the way. It is about a cup. Um, I'm going to cook it in with the pork uh, just because I think it'll cook a little quicker and it'll turn out more like scrambled eggs in the in the hash kind of thing instead of like a, like a bake. But um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I will not time lapse it. Um, I just wanted to let you know that I'm changing my plans here. And that's the art of cooking. You can do whatever you want. Literally, whatever you want. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this cup of eggs in with my pork and cook it up like scrambled eggs. And then I will add it all to the uh, potatoes and mix it all together and put it back in the oven for a few more minutes. Um, right now the potatoes are just staying warm in there. Um, I did turn the oven off just now. You probably just saw that. Um, and I'm just going to let them sit in there so they're not cooking anymore and breaking down. Um, but hopefully this turns out great and at the end I will show you what kind of seasonings I'm going to put on it. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed again so far. I'm going to cook my eggs. Alrighty guys, the eggs are in here. Um, they're about halfway done I would say. Um, they're starting to get to that point where they get a little bit thicker but they're still liquid um, some of it's solid like scrambled eggs should be uh, but anyway I'm going to season this right now um, what I like to put in all of my stuff usually is just salt pepper and garlic um, but I want to try something I have this since since there's pork in this recipe I have this seasoning called twisted Q um, yeah it's cane and maple seasoning so it's kind of spicy a little bit Cajun um, yeah, so um, I got it at Meyer. I don't know if it's sold anywhere else, uh, but anyway, you can get it online. Here's their website right here on the lid, twistedq.com. Um, recipes, tips, and more. And uh, not sponsored. I just bought this and like it, so I thought I'd promote their product. So I'm just gonna put a little bit, a little bit of this in here. Um, it smells really good too. It's really sweet and spicy. So I'm just gonna put uh, quite a bit because we have to season the the potatoes too. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, normally it's just salt, pepper, garlic, but today I decided I'm gonna be a little bit different. And just throw that in here, which I'll read you the ingredients here in just a second after I finish mixing it all in. Scrape the pan, make sure you get all that stuff all mixed together. And now we just have to let it sit a little longer and let all the eggs get real stiff. Well, not real stiff, but solidify so they're not liquid because um, they are still a little bit liquidy. So, now I'll read you what is in this. Let's see, ingredients. Uh, we have cane sugar, sea salt, spices, whatever that means, coriander, onion, paprika, garlic, rice, concentrate, cinnamon, lemon peel, natural maple flavor, and then a bunch of other preservatives, um, and thyme. And it is gluten-free, for those of you that were wondering. It says right here. 
Gluten free. Oh, come on, focus. Focus. Okay, it's not focusing. Focus. There it is. You can see that. Gluten free. Um, it is really good. I've used it on a lot of different things. I eat a lot of pork because it's cheap. Um, and I really like that seasoning. So if you're interested, check your local store for that or get online at twistedq.com and pick yourself up some. Hey, look, it actually focused this time. Alrighty, so now we're coming down to the part where it all gets mixed together with the potatoes and then goes back in the oven for like five minutes because why not? Just gonna scrape the pan a little bit. Everything seems to be pretty well solid. So I'm gonna go ahead and spin this around like that. I'm going to come in here and get the, uh, how hot is it? It's not too hot, there we go. Get the potatoes. We will uncover these potatoes. Ah, oh, look at all that steam, nice and moist. So now what I'm going to do is just take our whole mixture here. I'm going to slide this over a little bit. There we go. We'll turn this off. Yep, there it is. And we are just going to dump it right on top. Just like that. And then I'm going to mix this around with the potatoes. And it should be, uh, we can call it a day here on this breakfast. So I'm just going to set this hot skillet right here on the edge of the sink. Grab, you know, I'm going to grab a mitt because it's going to get hot. And now I will just take all of this and just kind of mix it in together. Just like that. So this is mostly a potato dish. If you really like potatoes like I do, then this would be wonderful. If you don't like potatoes, sorry, you're not going to like this. I don't know who doesn't like potatoes, though. If you don't like potatoes, you're weird. Potatoes are great. So there we go. It is all mixed together, nice and evenly dispersed. And I'm just going to stick this back in the oven for like five or ten minutes just to get it nice and warm and make sure it's all fully cooked. And from there, it will get served out onto my plate and I will eat it. No, I'm not going to make you watch me eat it because that's just rude. Don't you hate it when the cooking shows do that? When they're like, when they're all like, oh, here, we'll make this dish. Let me taste it for you. Make sure, you know, just show you that it's really good and that you can't have any right now because you didn't make it. And I hate that, so I'm not going to do that to you. So anyway, this is what it looks like all done. Um, looks delicious. And I am definitely going to throw more seasoning on there to get the potatoes seasoned. Um, and maybe just a little bit of extra black pepper, because I like black pepper. Uh, but anyway, that's that. I'm going to stick this back in the oven for a few minutes, and that's all, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Come back for another one sometime, or go check out my videos in the past. Most of them are about farming, gardening, and trucks and my college life, and that's about it. So this is another one of those college life videos where I just show you random stuff that I do as a college kid. Um, yeah. Cool, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Come back for another one soon. See y'all later.